What's up, what's up, what's up everyone? Peter Sorensen here. Uh, welcome for another day training inside the Ecom Challenge. Today is day 76. I'm actually coming at you live as of the time of recording. It's Friday, June 16, 2017, and we happen to be on day 76 here on the Ecom Challenge. Today was a huge, huge day in the world of e-commerce, the world of online selling, selling physical products online. And I'm gonna share with you about that news if you didn't know, and more importantly, why you should be excited about it and why that should further light you up when it comes to building a physical product-based business online, selling products on your Shopify store, learning about how to sell products online, how to market, how to be able to drive traffic, how to be able to be in control of your financial destiny by building a business online from home, from anywhere in the world, building a brand, being able to leverage uh, your own business, being able to leverage at first drop shipping products from overseas, print on demand products, and eventually even building your own product business. Eventually, I want to paint a picture for you guys today in today's training where a few years from now, maybe a year from now, two years from now, whatever the case may be, how you can have your own line of products or how you can private label your own products and be able to build your business on Shopify as well as even other platforms. Uh, for those of you that are joining live, I uh, thanks so much. I know some of you guys, welcome Jonathan, Kenny Klein, good to have you guys. I know you guys probably are already in tune to the big news and uh, shout out to Jonathan Foltz actually, uh, who actually also made a post today on Facebook about it. So for those of you that don't know, uh, Amazon uh, announced today the e-commerce giant, right? While all of these retail stores are declining, while the world of physical, traditional physical retail is declining and dying, Amazon is crushing it, right? So think of Amazon, you know, Amazon is the place where the masses go to buy products, right? And Shopify, Tech it so we partner with Shopify because Shopify is the place to sell products. We really believe that Shopify is the future for e-commerce sellers, e-commerce businesses, right? So Amazon's kind of leading the way, gaining massive market share, and today they announced that they're buying Whole Foods. You heard me right, they are buying Whole Foods. They're getting into the 600 plus billion dollar grocery industry, right? They announced today that they're acquiring, get this, Whole Foods, uh, Whole Foods for $13.7 billion, that's B, with a bill, uh, B with for billions in cash, okay? So here's what's crazy about this. You might be thinking, why would they buy uh, Whole Foods, right? You know, Amazon is the king of online retail, and obviously Whole Foods is physical uh, retail. I think it's something like 430 uh, prime time real estate locations across the country, Whole Foods. Growing, growing, very successful company uh, in the uh, grocery industry, which is very, very challenging. The, the grocery industry in general is very small margins, and so up until now, uh, Amazon and the companies have struggled with how do people, you know, how do they make it a feasible, feasible economic model to buy uh, groceries online, perishables, things like that, things that you would think, why would you ever buy food online? Just like a decade ago, they said, why would you buy clothes online? I gotta go to the store, I gotta go to Macy's, I gotta go all these places to try on the shoes, to try on the dresses, to try on the shirts. Well, guess what? People buy clothes and shoes and stuff, stuff like that on Amazon these days. So Amazon today just made an announcement. They are investing heavily, uh, obviously, to the tune of $13.7 billion with getting into the grocery market, acquiring Whole Foods, and many, many people think over the next year, a couple of years, that they are going to dominate the space when it comes to literally being able to buy your groceries online, on your phone, being able to either pick them up in a store nearby you, or be able to even have it delivered to you, a lot of possibilities. Uh, and I wanted to talk about this today because it is important for you as e-com challenge participants or people in our community that are learning to build their own e-commerce business to know that you are in the right place at the right time in a booming multi-trillion dollar industry, right? What other industry is there out there that is literally growing by double digit rates that is a trillion dollar industry? Let me tell you, none. E-commerce is it. Right, so you're in the right place at the right time. And here's another example of that, where you have an online retailer, Amazon, that's crushing it, that is now getting into, by buying Whole Foods, the grocery industry, something that people would think you could never sell online, right, digitally, and yet they're going to do it. They already are doing it, and they're going to really step their game up and figure out how to really craft that code and shift people's buying habits. 
So how does this affect you as an individual uh, e-commerce seller or as even a drop shipper? Well, first off, it's important to know again from a mindset perspective that you are in the right place at the right time and to understand the future of e-commerce and understand you're not just building something to make a quick buck, but you're building the skill sets and you're building a real asset by building a digital e-commerce business building an email list, by building a buyer's list, by building a brand, you are doing things to position yourself to build a real business, a real company, in a growing industry. You know, there's a saying that says, a rising tide raises all ships. A rising tide raises all ships. Well, this e-commerce is a massive, massive rising tide, okay? And e-commerce is a massive rising tide. Well, in order to ride that tide, to leverage that, you gotta have your boat in the water, right? So your boat is your individual Shopify store. Your boat is, is, is you know, again, selling products, leveraging the business model of drop shipping. Once you start crafting, uh, you know, crafting and cracking the code, so to speak, with Facebook advertising, Instagram advertising, even SEO, you start cracking the code of traffic and conversions, right? You start cracking the code of getting people to your site, targeted visitors to your site, and mastering that sales conversion process. As you do that, sky is the limit. Now you can actually take the next level step in your business and start ordering your own inventory so you can increase your margin as well as be able to offer your customers U.S. shipping, being able to offer your customers a few days shipping. You, know, you might be able to eventually launch your business, grow your business, and then also sell on, on Amazon. For instance, one of our, our communities, Robert Nava, literally sold millions of dollars on Shopify as well as Amazon. Because once you get something uh, selling, you can create your own product, you can work with Chinese manufacturers, you can private label your products, you can customize, have your own products, have them shipped into a, a, a fulfillment facility like Amazon, for example, and you can sell through Amazon. Now you're leveraging the massive traffic that's going to Amazon when you have a hot product that's your own that you have good margins on, right? So that's the future, that's the next step for you, right? Once you get uh, crack the code, tra a tra a crack the code, excuse me, I'm so excited here. Uh, today's a big day. So once you crack the code of drop shipping, traffic, conversions, right? monetizing your list, building your brand. One of the cool things about Shopify is that you are owning your own brand. You're owning your customer data. You're owning your customer email address. You can remarket to them. A lot of things that is a lot better, a lot easier uh, than, than Amazon, okay? But Amazon has its benefits too. There's a reason why so many people sell a lot of products on Amazon. And we have people even in our community that do that. But that's kind of a more advanced strategy, this idea of maybe private labeling your products, um, you know, having them fulfilled by Amazon, things like that. And we'll teach in the future those strategies, but obviously for right now, just understand when you have this e-commerce giant like Amazon leading the way, that's giving you clues, right? That's giving you clues into shifting the buyer's behavior. For example, groceries, right? People would never think to buy groceries online, and yet it's already starting to happen. But it's not yet adopted by the masses. You know, let's be honest, we all pretty much still go to the grocery store for things like that, right? Uh, but yet a decade or so ago, uh, most of us did not buy any form of clothes, fashion, jewelry even, uh, shoes, right? It's only been in the last 10, you know, 10 or so years, maybe 15, you know, post 2000s, where that is radically shifted and nowadays most of us don't even go to the stores for stuff like that. Okay, we buy them online, we go to Amazon or other vendors online, right? And we get them shipped to our door. We avoid the hassles of traffic, we avoid the hassles of lines and things like that. Well, Amazon's proven today and they're committing, you know what, we're gonna do that with groceries. Right, we're gonna do that with groceries, which was a 600 plus trill, uh, billion dollar industry. The grocery industry is massive. We all need to eat, right? Every single day we are eating food. We, you know, it's one of those things that business isn't going out of business. But guess what? The medium, the distribution channel is shifting, right? The distribution channel is shifting through technology. And so Amazon is, is saying, hey, we are going to help disrupt that industry, the grocery industry. We're gonna disrupt the grocery industry and we are going to get people to buy their groceries online. We're going to have physical retail locations because we understand you might buy online, but if you're in a local market and there's a store you know, a mile or two down the road, you're gonna pick up those perishables and things like that or they might have a delivery service right, where you can charge, where they'll deliver it to your door or something like that the possibilities are endless and it's really cool. We'll see what they do and kind of how they do it as Amazon integrates Whole Foods. 
So as we talk about that, uh, it, it gives you those clues as, okay, what can you do with your individual e-commerce business, with your Shopify store? What products uh, can you sell, right? What products, hold on, make sure uh, if you guys can hear me okay. But what products can you sit, um, can you be able to sell? And looking at the trends, be researching trends. What are the trends for 2017, even going into 2018? What are the hot trending products? What are the ways, what are the things that maybe people didn't buy online and now they're really starting to buy online and you can get those products in front of them in a particular niche? right? Or maybe you start looking at, I was doing some research earlier with the, the e-commerce trends. I'd be thinking about when it comes to even print on demand products. So like I talked about yesterday with viral trending news, guess what? I bet you there's someone out there right now that is capitalizing on this e-commerce whole foods trend. I guarantee you there's people that are making print on demand products, targeting people who love whole foods. I'm, I bet you there's people right now, there's marketers, you're going to probably see this, that are literally going to target maybe um, viral, uh, sorry, target people that are vegans that love whole foods. Do intersecting audiences, for example, people that love whole foods that are also vegans or vegetarians, and they're going to come up with a slick print on a shirt. I guarantee you some of them will be negative, like, you know, anti Amazon, so to speak, or whatever, right? There'll be pros and, and, and uh, you know, positives and negatives, right? So that's an example where there's a trending event, a trending topic called online retailer giant Amazon buys offline, you know, grocery retailer Whole Foods, right? Just that one trending event will create an opportunity as a digital marketer, as an e-commerce marketer, to be able to sell products, be able to sell physical products that you, you, you outsource from in dropship from overseas, or be able to create some really cool designs that you're, you're putting on print-on-demand products with print-on-demand um, you know, sellers, print-on-demand platforms, right? So this is an idea, something I talked about before, now you can leverage these training events, okay? But also, this is a really cool, obviously, big news event because this directly relates to our industry, selling products online, the industry of e-commerce, having your own store. And it got me to thinking, wanting to give you guys a bigger picture, a bigger vision of where you can be a year from now, two years from now, even five years from now, where you have your own brand, you have your own YouTube channel, you have your own successful blog that's ranked in Google, you have viral videos that are selling your products, you eventually have your own private label products so you you grow from just drop shipping to having your own product line to be able to private label your own product line be able to have those products manufactured overseas have them shipped into a domestic you know fulfilled by Amazon center or even have your own physical uh, warehouse as you grow and scale your business the possibilities are endless this is the new form of real estate online real estate online e-commerce you know, I have a big background in real estate. I used to buy and sell investment properties for a few years. I uh, did a lot, a lot of deals, made some good money, lost some money as well. Well, the new real estate is online. The new real estate is building, growing, and flipping stores online, right? You, you, you would build, you know, and fix and flip a house. Well, guess what? Now people are building and, and flipping stores. People are building and flipping Shopify stores. So you can build a business for long-term cash flow, build a brand, and you can also build a store to be able to build uh, and, and be able to resell, right? Amazon is proving that more and more money is going online. More and more money is being spent online. More products are being sold online. More investors are looking to buy online real estate. They're looking to buy online, excuse me, websites. They're looking to buy online e-commerce stores, right? So there's a lot of money going in this industry. So you want to position yourself in front of that wave. And what do you do right now today? You take massive action. You go through the challenge. You go through the training. You take action on it. You take it seriously. You treat this like your own million dollar business. I want to say that again. Treat this like your own million dollar business. Do not treat this like a hobby. If you treat it like a hobby, you will lose money and you will quit. Just going to keep it real. If you treat this like a hobby, you're going to probably lose, just lose money. You'll get demotivated by lose money and you'll quit. If you treat this like a seven-figure business, then you will take action. Even if you lose some money up front, it doesn't matter because you understand this is going to be a seven-figure business for you. So it's all the investment. You're building the foundation. You're building the structure of your of your enterprise, right, of your e-commerce business. 
right? You're building your traffic, you're building your leads, you're building your sales, you're building your knowledge, right? You're staying attuned to the training events. You're, you're learning uh, from our training. You're going out there, you're taking action, right? And you have the mindset of, I'm gonna do this for the next several years, not for a month or three months. Guys, if you're not gonna commit to at least 12 to 24 months in a business, then forget about it. You need to commit. You need to commit 12 to 24 months, right? Most businesses fail in the first year. Why? Some people say undercapitalization, things like that. I'm going to also just say flat out they don't fully commit, right? They're going to try, try it out or they're going to test it out and they don't fully commit, right? So yes, you might have a capital challenge, but guess what? You can bootstrap, you can hustle, you can grind, you can sell your way to capital, right? For instance, Techademics, we never got any outside capital. We sold our way, right? Chris Recker started the company and put some money up front, but we've done it through sales. We've done it through creating value, selling products and services, and being able to build a company from literally nothing. You can do the same thing with your e-commerce business. You can be bootstrapped. You can start with free traffic strategies, and then you can start with a little $5 a day ads, get something going, once something's profitable, you can reinvest your profits, right? So if you got a full-time job, cool, keep doing that. Use that to pay the bills and use your e-commerce business to be, create a self-fulfilled business, a self-funded proposal, right? Start with some free plus shipping, then move to some retail sales, start growing your retail sales, start monetizing your email list and your customer list, get your customers to come back to your store to buy more products, so now you're increasing your customer value, you're increasing your brand, you're increasing your asset, right? You're building up a Facebook fan page, you're building up a YouTube channel, you're building up your Instagram page, you're doing all of these things to build up online web assets, right? You're building your own physical, um, you know, business, so to speak, you're doing it online, you're building your real estate online, right? All of those things are assets. Think about your Shopify store like a, a multifamily building, and inside of that, you have all these little individual units that are creating cash flow. Those individual units are your different products and your different categories, your email list, your Facebook fan page, your YouTube channel. All the different things are all assets to grow your main business, your main brand. Right, so again, big news today in the e-commerce world. The Amazon, the giant uh, e-commerce giant that is uh, no doubt going to be a trillion dollar company. Uh, they just bought uh, Whole Foods for 13.7 billion in cash. They announced that they're doing that deal, and guess what happened? The same day they announced that, guess what happened to their stock? Their stock has gone up 14 billion dollars in value today. So basically, another way of saying they got Whole Foods for free. Right, they put up 13, seven billion dollars in cash, and the market cap just went up 14 billion in a day. Right now, we'll see what happens. Markets go up and down, but the fact of the matter is, I think it's a pretty good deal for them. And if they execute it properly, you know, they will shift the way buyers uh, behave when it comes to groceries. Right? We, you know, a few years from now, it could be just a joke to think, oh my God, you actually had to go to the grocery store every day. You didn't just buy the groceries from your phone and or go pick them up real quick. And instead of spending an hour in the grocery store, you're in and out in five minutes, or even better, you'd have them delivered to your house, fresh, same day, exactly what you wanted. Right, so no doubt that will happen. Amazon's obviously committed to it to the tune of close to 14 billion dollars, and uh, you know they see and understand the trends. So you know, good luck to them. Right. So again, how can you capitalize? You can capitalize by first understanding you're in the right place at the right time, the right system, the right educational company of Techademics, the right platform, e-commerce platform of Shopify. Shopify is the platform to sell products, your own products, custom products, products that people can't just buy in the store very, very easily, right? So Amazon is a simple place to buy products for sure, right? Shopify is your place to sell products. You are a producer. Amazon is for consumers. Shopify is for producers, for sellers, for entrepreneurs, and that's you, right? So we've got Shopify, and then we have Techademics. Techademics is the platform to learn, is the educational center, the one-stop shop hub to learn digital marketing, to learn traffic, to learn conversions, to learn email marketing, right? Techademics is gonna be offering world-class training uh, obviously, a lot of free training here in the Ecom Challenge group, but obviously, you know, we have paid programs. We're going to be launching really cool things there. You should be taking advantage of that. You should commit. Like, Techademics is your school for e commerce. Techademics is your school for internet marketing to build in a successful seven figure business, right? Shopify is the platform. And then what's left is for you to take action. 
for you to take action what you, on what you're learning, to not quit, to have a long-term vision, okay, to treat this like a business and not like a hobby. So wanted to uh, update you guys. Hope you're having a phenomenal day for those of you that are joining me live. Uh, big, big news in the e-commerce world. Amazon giant buys Whole Foods. They're getting in the uh, the physical business of groceries. And here's the cool thing. It was once thought that it was like online versus offline. Same thing happens with internet marketing or network marketing. It's like online this is the way to go. And some people are like, no, old school, offline, word of mouth. It's both. Successful companies understand online with offline. In our world, online, we're teaching online marketing, but guess what? We also do offline events where we teach it. We have physical people that call you. We have physical uh, student advisors that help our student members, right? So we at Techonomics, we understand offline plus online. Same thing with you and your business eventually. You're gonna start online, but offline, you might eventually, you know, your version of offline might eventually have your own physical products, your own warehouse. You might be able to offer two-day uh, shipping on your product, stuff like that, like what Amazon does. Or you might eventually partner with Amazon as you have your own private label products and you send shipments to their fulfillment centers. There's a lot of things you can do. You can have, you know, 1-800 phone, phone service for your customers, for your demographics of people that want to talk to someone over the phone or buy over the phone, that increases sales conversions. When you're at a point in your business, you might, you might add the aspect of that phone to, to your business to increase your sales. So again, retailers, online retailers like Amazon understand the value and importance of combining online with offline, right? So that's just a, a quick tip for you guys as you're moving forward in your business, something to be thinking about. Okay, so that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's training. Uh, leave some comments, some likes, some hearts if you enjoyed today's training. Uh, hope you're having a phenomenal day. Take massive action, and we will see you again tomorrow. Till then, take care.